All right, y'all. All right, we in the building. Roll the intro. Another one. It's another one and another one. What's poppin', y'all? We are back with another video. We back with another one, y'all. And I'm super excited about this one um, because we get to talk about some music. Y'all know I love me some music. But look, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's somewhere down there. You know where it's at. At this point, you know where it's at. Subscribe to the channel. Super important. Stop everything that you're doing right now and like the video. Because what be crazy to me is I be having 1,000 people watch the video and only 100 people like the video. Something's not adding up. What's not clicking, Steven? Go ahead and like the video. Like it right now. And make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. All right, y'all. So, look. Y'all, y'all know that the outages are like everywhere today. I'm literally supposed to be on a plane right now on my way back home. Remember I told y'all I'll be gone this weekend for my mom's anniversary party, which is tomorrow. My flight got delayed, so I actually fly out tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed, y'all, that I can still make it to her party on time. I would land at 4 p.m. or 4.15. The party starts at 6. If there's no delays, I'll still be able to make it, but... If I don't, mom gonna be mad. She gonna be mad. She is not gonna be a happy camper. But um, so I'm supposed to be on a flight right now. But I'm here with y'all, and I'm okay with that a little bit because I love y'all. Y'all know I love getting on here. Y'all know y'all my people. Y'all know y'all my people, and I know y'all love me back. So I'm okay with being on here with y'all, and um, you know us, you know shooting this, you know chopping it up a little bit. So y'all, JT, JT released her. Uh, her mixtape, because this is, yeah, it's not an album, it's a mixtape. This is her first solo mixtape. It's called City Cinderella. And so, um, y'all know we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, y'all know I don't like reading lyrics. Maybe we'll do a little bit of lyric breakdown. Y'all know I do not get into the lyrics game, okay? Like, that is just not something that, um, that I do. It's just not, because I'll be sounding a little off reading the lyrics back to y'all. Um, it's, it's, it's no shade. But we got to talk about JT. We're going to talk about JT. So, City Cinderella. First, let me start here. Always love the cover. I love, love, love JT's album or mixtape cover. Loved it. But let's go ahead and pull up the track list, okay? So, we'll pull up the track list, and I'll let you guys know what I think about uh, each track. And then I'll tell you guys even more, and we'll chat. Y'all know how we do it. We got to talk about it first. And what well, we gotta, you know, talk about it, and then I'm gonna give y'all my my thoughts and my more details. Okay, so um, let's read this though. I'm, I will read this for y'all. So it says, if rap fans know the Miami Helen Duo uh, City Girls for anything, it's women's empowerment anthems. Just because, but just because JT and Young Miami aren't recording as a group right now, doesn't mean that that train has to stop. The woman born Jatavia Shakura Johnson is happy to carry the torch to fly for fly girls everywhere on her debut mixtape, City Cinderella. The project is packed with insights into how Jatavia became JT, something we can hear in a handful of the flows that reflect the influence of some of the South's biggest personalities, MCs like Gucci Mane, Young Jeezy, and Rick Ross. Songs like Swang, Step... Stay a little child, JT coming, and the project's lead single, okay, are where she really hits her stride, informing us on the latter. I'm pretty damn up to be looking okay. So that's what they said about that. I ain't gonna read the rest or whatever. But you know, I like to kind of read that. Do y'all do anybody else read that? I just be wanting to know what Apple be having to say or whatever about the album before I get into it. I don't know. Am I weirdo? Maybe just a little bit. But I like to read, y'all. I'm a reader. Y'all know I read. But, okay. The intro. Hope. Loved it. Loved it. She she kicked it off. She, it, she started it off. And I love this track because it is a good intro track. And I don't... Y'all, I remember telling y'all in another video, I reviewed another female rapper's album. And I said, like, I wanted... When your intro track is supposed to be some type of vulnerability there. Tell me a story. Tell me why you are the city Cinderella. And she did. Um, now this, you know, it's, it's no shame. It's no, it's no tea and it's definitely no shame. Now this is the track where she threw a little, she threw, not a little bit. She threw the whole damn tree 
at Cardi B allegedly. Now I know that it was I knew it was Cardi B she was talking about, but y'all know I don't. We I guess we still got to say allegedly, but no, she came like literally um, about a minute in the song. Whack, simple. Um, and that's not even the reason why I love the song. I just still love the song because I love the song. But you know, um, I feel like this was a good like storytelling song. She, uh, she did really good. She did really, really good. Now, I want to read y'all the lyrics. Um, I want to read y'all the lyrics to this. So I'm going to be a little messy, child. It's no shade. I'm going to be a little messy. Um, let me get that song pulled up real quick. Let me get JT pulled up. Um, okay. Okay. I want to see the lyrics. Okay, so she said this about Cardi B, and I know y'all already heard it. She said, um, non-rapping, bitch, who the you talking to? I was off in sacks, Gucci alligator bags, while you was laying on your back, stuffing bottles up your up. Okay, that's what she was talking about. Let me, um, this is what, when she says stuffing bottles up your... I think this is probably what she was talking about. I don't know. You know, um, yeah, that's what she was talking about, y'all. It's, it's no it's no tea. I had to get be a little messy on that. But that's what I think she was talking about. But I'm not for sure. But anyway, let's move on. We won't make this about anything else but the, the album. Okay, Brick Talk. Didn't like Brick Talk at first. Did not like Brick Talk at first. Had to come back. Brick Talk hit me the third time around. Didn't really care for Brick Talk at first, um, but Brick Talk was good. Again, it hit me the third time around. Oh, didn't really care for O the first time around. O with DJ Khaled, O hit me the second go around. Serving, that girl. Oh, she's she's that girl. Serving is that girl. Uh, D.O.D. Did not like D.O.D. the first go around. Got into DOD the second go around. Like some of her, these, so with JT, these songs, you you may have to go and listen to them twice. If you listen once, you 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 probably won't get it. I had to listen to the DOD twice. I got it. Good one. Um, we'll we'll stay. Uh Bop. So we'll do chopper bop. So let's review so far. Intro. Um, bop. Brick talk. Chop at first, but now it's a bop. Oh. Chop first go, now it's a bop. Serving, bop, that girl. Uh, D.O.D. was a chop at first, now it's a bop. Lemon Pepper, bop. Bop all the way through, y'all. Bop. I love this song. I love this song, this Lemon Pepper. I love this song, y'all. I don't know. Like, I literally played this. Um, I had, this is one of the ones, after I listened to the whole album, the second time around, the third time around, I'm not going to lie, I let this play like two or three times. I love this Lemon Pepper. It's giving just gangster, just street, just a hood bitch talking her. Shh. I like it. Oh, Swang? Swang is that girl. It's it's no tea. Swang is that girl. Swang is that girl. Um, Swang made me want to fight. Like, if you see me somewhere and we got an issue, you better swang. Like, that's what that give me. That give me like... If you got any, if it's if it's some problem, if it's, if it's some beef, if you got a tea with me, what up? Like, you ain't on nothing. If you ain't like, what's up? Put it on the floor. I love, love Swang. Swang is a good one. 90s baby. Love 90s baby. Love 90s baby. That's the one she released the video to. Um, to love the video. We'll go over to her page in a minute. We'll look into that a little bit too. We're going to talk about all this, y'all. Uncle Al, loved Uncle Al. She, uh, real, these songs is real Miami, but she got her little singing in here. I really wanna stay. Explain it in a little game to play. She, she ate that. This is her hit, too, right here. I, I wonder if she knows. She got a couple, actually, she got a couple of like things that could be big on this, um, this mixtape. Uncle Al is one of them. We need a video to Uncle Al. Y'all know what Uncle Al gives me? Uncle Al gives me good love. With um, That City Girls had a song, Good Love, with Usher. Uncle Al gives me those vibes a little bit. A little bit. We know Sideways. Obviously, Sideways is that girl. Um, okay. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's great, girl. It grew on me. 
Um, JT coming really good. Wish JT coming could just been a tad longer. Um, JT coming sounded like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Like y'all know this song. I think it could have been sampled that. I think she probably did sample that. Um, All Stars was good. All Stars was good. Like that. Um, it it was kind of giving like a different like you know moody kind of vibe or whatever. I I messed with All Stars. Loved Red Flowers too. Didn't like Red Flowers the first go around. Had to really get into Red Flowers the second go around. It was just kind of short. I wanted a little bit more. I feel like she could have gave me a little bit more on that. Star of the show. Good. Good start of show. That's the outro. Start of show was the outro. Mwah. Jay Z is. Uh, I said Jay Z. JT is really sounding in this y'all. She give is giving like hood. Like I feel like everybody is done. This isn't for everybody. This isn't a, a tape that's gonna be for everybody. And if I could be quite frank with you, this isn't probably a tape that I'm listening to every single day either. I want to listen to JT. On some chill. I want to just be cool. I want to smoke a blunt. You know what I mean? Some of these things I probably could play every day at the gym or whatever. Like that Uncle Al. I'm playing at the gym. That swang. That swang. Them going to be my everyday. A couple of these is going to be on my everyday. I'm not going to lie. A couple of these will. Maybe like, yeah. A couple of these will. Lemon pepper. I could play that every day. But some of these is just a vibe where you want to like be doing something. I want to be smoking or I'm riding around. This remind me of back in the day. When I used to ride around, I had this big white truck, y'all. Um, my mama had gave me her old truck. I had this big white truck. Um, all my friends, we used to pile up in the truck. And, you know, but when I was by myself, I used to ride around. I used to have the windows down and everything, listening to Jeezy. The um, the TM-103, if you know, you know. Um, what was it called? Gangsta something. But... Literally, it was Jeezy that he um, he had a hat on and on the album cover, and it was black and white. But that's what she gives me. She gives me like Jeezy vibe. And I remember I used to just ride around today and just listen to music and just really be feeling it. And that is what this took me back to, like that old G that old Jeezy, old Gucci Man era, like where it was just raw. It was just raw, and it didn't seem commercial. And I think that's what I appreciate about the 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 project. It didn't seem like so commercial. Like it didn't seem like she was like, okay, I need to have this kind of song on here because I need a hit. I need this. It sounds true to her. And y'all, the way that this project was put together, it flows together cohesively for me. Every song builds off of the next for me, and it's all authentic to who she is. Uh, to me, City Cinderella, this mixtape. It's like a love letter to um, all the women in Miami and the Miami culture. And I feel like it represents where she's from so much. And it just plays on a theme. The city Cinderella, you know, she is a city girl and they she is from Miami. And it just, it encompasses everything with the title, with the tracks on the, on the project, all of that. It just, it just goes together. So lovely for me. It flows together. Um, and I'm so proud of JT. I'm so proud of her. I'm so, so proud of her. I could play this all the way through. It's no shade. I could play this all the way through. I could play this City Cinderella tape all the way through. And um, I guess y'all want to know my favorites. Okay, my if I had to pick two favorites that I had to listen to. Oh, damn. That's hard. Because mm, I'm not going to lie. She ate that intro. That hope. Okay, three. So if I had to do three that I would listen to every single day, oh, maybe four. Okay, I'm just going to give y'all my top five. Intro, which is Hope. Love that one. So intro, Lemon Pepper, Swang, 90s Baby, Uncle Al. I could listen to those all day long. Like, literally, if, if I had a gun to my head, then, yeah, I could listen to that. I could listen to those all day long. I could listen to the whole thing because I like the whole thing. But if you had to make me choose, then my five and 90s, baby. I think I said 90s, baby. Maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, y'all, this is a solid project. And I think that I love how JT did her rollout, too. Um, now, oh, y'all, we didn't talk about this. Let me pull up Instagram. Um, let me get Instagram pulled up real quick. Because she actually... Um, she had a she had a good rollout for her to just be like um, just now going solo and everything. I just I love how 
um, JT, I feel like it's, although she has been around a long time, why does this feel like her, well, I guess it is her solo debut, it is. It just, it feels, something about JT being in the mix feels fresh for me. Um, and I love it, and I'm living for it, honestly, truly. And I'm going to support her. I'm going to support JT because it's one thing when you see the artist actually um, putting in the work. But I want to dance on this really quick. This was everything. This right here was everything. This paper magazine cover was so T. This was this this whole spread. Look at her. Beautiful black queen who is proud of her skin tone. And I, I don't know if she's always been that way, you know, because generally, like, sometimes with darker skin girls, sorry, I'm jumbling my words. Sometimes with girls who are dark skin, they may have insecurities just because, not even because it's themselves, but because, but because of what society was doing. Y'all remember, like, years ago i know when i was in high school i'm 27 so back then like maybe 10 plus years ago it was the light skin light skin i love how jt embraces her dark skin uh how she says sexy black motherfucker like i love how she does that and i love how she doesn't shy away from that she looks so good right here she looks so good even right here she got the glass slippers on with like the little cinderella looking all this this the body is t it's just, it gives very editorial. Everything about this, I loved it down. I love that down. Y'all know she got the tour and everything um, coming up too. Then she posted these pictures today. Um, this is from her release party that she had last night. Just She just looks so fab. Look, and she and she, you see she playing on a theme. She got her tiara on. She got the blue dress. You know, it's giving the Cinderella, but it's giving like city Cinderella. I'm a rich Girl, this ain't no, you know, Cinderella, you know, from back in the day. She is just giving it up. Look at her. This is a beautiful girl. She is so pretty. JC is so pretty. Look, she is so T. She is so T. And then also, y'all, she had the, she is the um, cover this week for the Rap Life. And they have her song number one on the um, playlist, the Rap Life playlist. And I went and looked at it. The Rap Life playlist, JT's song is number one on there um and she's getting the playlist and so that's good for the 90s baby which she released the music video to and this is and i'm not gonna keep this on here too long because they're gonna flag it child but if y'all haven't already go check out um jt's go check out that video but yeah y'all that's all i have to say about that super proud of jt y'all know we gonna support her here on this channel um as long as she keeps giving us good music um again everything ain't gonna be like a smash every Every project has one of them ones on there where you like, okay, we could have did without this one. I'm not, you know what I mean? And although I can play her thing all the way through, we could have did without maybe two or three of these on there. But I'm not mad at them. They're not trash. And this is better than, I feel like this is probably um, one, of, one of the best projects I've heard this year. And y'all know it hasn't, you know, um, we've had other female rappers released this year too. But um, as for me, honestly, this year, in 2024, this is uh, one of my favorite projects released this year. This is. I can say that confidently. This is one of my favorite ones because it's authentic to who the artist is. And it's just good music. It's raw. It's real. And it's rap. You understand? You understand? So, make sure y'all go check out City Cinderella. Um, y'all, if you if you rock with JT, I'm not trying to force anybody to be a fan of hers. But um, purchase it. If you support your people, if you really like like an artist, buy their stuff. Her um her CD only uh $4.99. $5.99. I think it's five, or $6.99. It's cheap, whatever. It ain't no more than ten dollars, probably. Go buy her stuff. Support a, a, another black woman. And she I love she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, and she's been working hard and she's really been putting in the work. And anything that JC has coming toward her right now, she's earned it. She's earned it. Because we really have been seeing her since the no bars last year. She's been setting herself up for everything that she's going to be receiving in the future. And I couldn't be any more happier. And yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. So let me know what y'all think about the project in the comments. Be honest. Let me know what your favorite track was. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.